Okay, so we're going to try to uh, do a tutorial for our last drawing. Um, it is that pressure plate. And we're going to create a new part. This one also is going to be millimeters. And I am going to turn on the tutorial. So help tutorial. And we're going to do this one right here, this introduction to SolidWorks. Um, so this one's called a pressure plate. And um, it says millimeters. OK. So we're going to start with creating the base of this thing. And we're going to use the top plane. And it looks like the size of this pressure plate is a diameter of 128 millimeters. So let's start with that. So let's extrude a boss base on the top plane using a circle. We will start at the origin, dimension this, at a diameter of 128. And let's see how thick they want this. And it looks like the depth for the end condition is going to be seven. So we're done with that. Exit. And we'll make this seven millimeters. Very good. Uh, wants us to save it as pressure plate. So let's do a save as. And we're going to call this pressure. Okay. Uh, we're now going to uh, create the top part of this. We've got another, so we're going to select the top uh, plane, normal two, and we're going to create a circle. And the size of that circle is 75 millimeters. Okay, so let's go sketch. Smart dimension it. That's 75. Look at that. Exit the sketch. Let me highlight it and do a hold on. Ooh, before I do that, it says it wants us to do an offset entity. So we're going to go um, offset entities. And it says to set the parameters at five. So we want five. Um, I had to select the edge of this and wasn't quite sure what we wanted to do. So I selected the edge of my circle and notice that here it has the, the yellow going inside. So we have to click on this reverse right here to get the yellow going inside. And just to go exit the sketch, so we're done with that. Let me turn on a trimetric just so we can see here. Oops. And it wants us to exit the sketch, take the sketch, and extrude it. And the height of the extrusion is 12. Change the seven to a 12, enter, and check mark. Good. Now we're gonna make a hole through the middle of it. So we're gonna be cutting on this surface right here. It's a normal two. And we're gonna do an extrude cut with a circle at the origin. 
And what is the size of this thing? Uh, it's going to be 25. Twenty five and it's through all through all and you can see we've got it. Okay. Now we're gonna do some filleting. So we're going to fill it at a size of two. And it looks like we're gonna select this face here and the top face here. So we're gonna go fill it at a size of two. And I'm gonna select this top face and this side face. Okay, mark. Very good. Um, now, what are we going to do? Now we're going to um, select this face, normal two. We're going to do an extrude boss base. And it says it wants us to, um, to expand the line flyout menu and create a center line. All right, so here's our line. So we're gonna create a center line and it wants us to go from the origin straight up and it says about 45 millimeters straight up. So right in here somewhere, good. And then hit escape, that will break out that line or break you off of that line. Um, so yeah, it says about 45 millimeters up, doesn't have to be exact, just somewhere close. Then it wants us to create a circle wants us to create a circle at the end point of that, of that center line. So let's create a circle. Okay. And let's see what size it wants us to. So it wants us to set the circle diameter at 27 and the size of this line at 35. All right, good. Do that. Let's set the circle diameter. Ooh, it's pretty close, 27. And the size of this line here, because we locked it in at the origin, it will move the opposite side. So we're gonna set this at 35. And notice that it brought the center line down, but it also brought our circle down as well because our circle was attached to that center line. Um, so we set that at 35. And now it wants us to exit the sketch and set the circle, the um, extrude boss, set it at a height of 30. So done with the dimensioning, exit the sketch, turn this so we can see it. Um, it says to set the height at 30. And very good. So it put it, notice it put it right over top of this rim that goes around. So now we're gonna extrude a cut on the top of this. And it looks like we're gonna be drilling a hole down through the center of that. And the size of that is going to be 15. So that's on the face of this, normal two. Extrude a cut with a circle. If I hang out in the edge of this for a second, it gives me the center mark. Yep. And it's smart dimension it. Size of it is 15. Down with that. Exit the sketch. We're going through all. And done. Very good. So now we have that hole that goes through. And now we're going to um, uh, 
we're going to add some fillets to some of these edges that we can't see. But it wants us to turn on our hidden lines first. So the hidden lines are located here. Um, you may need to click on this to, in order to see it. So hidden lines visible. And we want to do that just so we can see all the different lines that we're going to fill it. Um, it says it wants us to fill it with a two millimeter radius. It wants us to do the top face and then this edge here, this edge here, and the bottom edge here. Okay, so let's go fill it. Set it at two, it's already set at two. So we're gonna go the top face of this, not the edges, but make sure you get the face. We're gonna click on this back edge right here. We're gonna click on this one here. And we're gonna do the bottom circle. Okay, so we've got both of these rings here, the circle and the top. Very good. Mark. And let's see what else it says to do. Um, click shaded with edges. Let's see what it looks like shaded with edges. Good. So we got the top is rounded, where they attach is rounded. And if we flip over to the bottom side, we'll be able to see that the bottom, the bottom edge is also round well the also the bottom is also rounded Good. zoom back out so we can actually see and go to my asymmetric good so now we're going to create a temporary axis because we're gonna we're gonna take this this tube that sticks off and we're gonna create a, a pattern a, uh, circular pattern, but we need to know the exact center of this circle so that we can pattern this around that center point. So it says go to the view pull down menu, go to hide show, and we're going to turn on temporary axis. Notice with all the circles, it gives us this temporary center of all the circles. So it gives us this one and it gives us this one. Good. Um, so now we're going to go to um, we're going to go to the circular pattern. So there's a linear pattern, and if yours doesn't show circular pattern, you have to click on the pull down menu for the linear pattern and go to circular pattern. And it's in, by the way, it's in the features toolbar. Circular pattern, and it says it wants to know. Um, under direction one, what is the, under direction one, we're gonna use this temporary center line there. Um, now it wants to know what is it that we're gonna, what are we gonna feature? So um, under the features, oh, and we have to choose, we're gonna do six of these as well. We're gonna do six and around 360 degrees, All right? So equal spacing around 360. And under, under the features to pattern, so that would be here. I'm going to select The fly out feature in the design tree and the graphics select last three. So let's see if we can find. Uh, so I just clicked on this. Here's the the fly out menu. So we want to we want it says to do the fillet two, the cut extrude two, and the boss extrude three. So fillet two is this one. Um, the cut extrude to is this one. And the boss extrude three is this one. 
case we did all three of those, it puts them in this top box here. And we should be able to check mark that it's done. And look at that. Very nice. So now we're gonna turn off the temporary, because we still have the temporary axes. Axes or axi, ax, whatever. View, hide, show, and we're gonna turn off the temporary axis. Okay. Hey, why is it still showing the temporary axis there? Hide, show. Um, so now we're going to, it says it wants us to do some more fillets. So we're gonna fill it using a two millimeter. We're gonna do the outside edge of these. And we're also gonna do the inside edge of these. So again, fill it, make sure it's still at two. And we're gonna select the inside edge right here. And we're gonna select the outside edge right here. And notice it does all the way around, which is great. And we're done with this part. So let's save this again. File, save. So the pressure plate is done. Now we just have to um, put it on paper. And it's we're going to do quite a bit with this. Um, and I'm going to have to follow the directions fairly carefully here to figure out what all it wants us to do. So it wants us to. Um, Put it on paper, but it all, let's see, we're gonna to go to options, drawing, display, and we're gonna remove engine engines. Okay, so let's try this. Under tools, I'm going to go to draw um, under the system options. We're gonna to go to drawings. We're gonna to go to display style. And it says it wants us to, under the tangent edges, it wants us to select removed. I'm gonna select removed. And to hide the transitional edges. Um, okay, so that's good. And let's see if there's any more, click okay. I thought those transitional edges would like Anyway, maybe on the drawing, it will turn those off. Um, so it says file, make drawing from parts. So we're gonna create a new drawing file, make drawing from part. And we wanna, we wanna end, okay, let's see what else it wants. Is reading here in the new SolidWorks document dialog tab. Click the template tab, select drawing, click OK. In the sheet format. Clear, only show standard formats, in a size standard landscape. Okay, so it wants us to um, go back to our tools. We're going to um, turn off our center marks. And in here it says we have to go to document properties to um, detailing. It wants us to turn off in the auto insert. 
wants us to turn off the center mark holes. Okay. So it doesn't want us to do them. Uh, this is where you can have, when you have, when you put drawings that have circles um, on your drawing, you can have the computer generate all your center hole or center marks for you and all your hidden lines, all your center lines by clicking some of these things. It says it wants us to turn that off um, for this so that we can place them in by hand. I don't know why it wants us to put them in by hand, but it does. So, okay, we'll put those center marks in by hand. Um, let's see, um, the view pal, that's this one right here. Drag the top view out. Okay, so here's our top view. So let me drag this top view out. And under display, click hidden lines removed and set it at a scale of one to two. So hidden lines are already removed and our scale is already one to two. Um, so we're good with that. I'll remove this down so it looks more. Mark we're okay here. Move this down so it looks like the one on the paper here. Um, now it wants us to do a section view. So we're gonna go up to um, our section view, which should be somewhere here in the view layout. I'm going section view. Um, the cutting line, click on vertical. So we wanna make sure that we have the vertical one selected and it also says to make sure the auto start section view is um, selected. And we want to place this right in the middle. And it wants us to flip this out, but it also wants us to make sure that our arrows are pointing to the right. Notice our arrows are pointing to the left here. So we want to flip direction. Let me undo auto flip and then there we go. Well, I want my arrows here for A pointing to the right and I want to drag my mouse out to the right so that I select or so that I place the um, section A here. Okay. Line line, flip direction. Okay, that's what we just did. Now it also wants us to do a detailed view of the top of this section view. So we're gonna to go to detail view. I think that's under, oh, it's right there. And there's our detail view and it wants us to make a circle around this top section. So I'm just gonna put my mouse somewhere right in, right in here, click and drag out a circle. Doesn't have to be much bigger than size and we're going to pull out that circle and we're going to drop that off over here so now i have section aa and i have detail um detail b okay, let's see, what, see what it wants us to do next um, now it wants us to so let's we're done with that it wants us to go to model view and it wants us to go to the pressure plate, select the isometric view, and it wants us to place an isometric view up here, but it wants us to take and use the shaded view. Let me go. Oh, I don't like that. Um, I think when we went in and add, added color to this thing, we kind of messed with the, in our last drawing, we added, I'll have to go back and do some changing um, to the color of this thing to make this thing look better. 
I'll have to figure that out. I'll do that at a later time and then show you how to go back and change yours because yours has probably changed as well. Um, it went to the default setting when we changed in the, um, when we tried to add in that, that Chrome before, um, it set that as the default now. And so now nothing looks like it should. So we're gonna go back and I'll do that later. Um, and, and when I figure out how to undo that, I'll show you a demo on how to do that, okay? So for now, we're just gonna leave this here. And uh, it says to make that at a scale of one to two. So let's make sure that we're at the right scale according to what it wants. Yep, we're at the right scale, one to two. Okay. And let's move on. So it wants us to put in a center mark. Um, this is where we, so it doesn't have center marks now, um, but we did turn those off. So it wants us to go center mark in the annotation tab. Center mark is here. And we want to select the outer edge here. Okay, but it also wants us to click on this little thing that pops up right here. It wants us to um, click on this as well. And what that does is it puts all the center marks all the way around. Okay, so it says click on that little symbol that pops up and it will put in all of our center lines all the way around. So that's good. There's all those center lines. Um, we are going to put in center lines in our um, in our section view and in our cutout view. So we're going to go to center lines. Click on this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, and this line. So it gives us those centers and we should have a center line right through the middle of this as well. So I'm gonna go the hole, the edges of the hole here. Give us a center line through that. Okay, so we're done with the center lines. And check mark that. Um, it wants us to make sure that we have our millimeter units turned on. Um, and you notice that I'm still sitting at uh, inches. So we're gonna go, it says to go to the U to the, um, goes to our options and then we're gonna go units under the document properties. So I'm on document properties, uh, units, and it wants us to select MMGS for millimeters, grams, and seconds. Okay, and let's smart dimension this. It wants us to um, select this outer, outer circle here. And I'm gonna try to dimension it so that it looks similar to um, the tutorial. And we're gonna, let me just slide, hold on. Turn this off real quick. Let me slide this over. Slide this over. Slide this up so that our labels are not in the title block. And slide this over. Okay, let's go back to our smart dimension. And I'm gonna add in the other Okay, um, let's see here. It also wants us to give some dimensions here. So let's go to our 
detail do. He wants the dimension from here to here. 37. He wants the thickness of this. Seven. And it also wants the radius size here as well. Okay. Now it wants us to change some things here. Um, it wants us to, uh, on our 27, on the measurement here, because there are six of these features, it wants us to tell that in the dimension itself. So let me check mark that I'm done with my dimension, but I want to go, I wanna highlight this dimension right here. And where it says dimension text, I'm gonna type right in front of this. I'm gonna say uh, six times. So notice here it says that there are six times that this 27 um, millimeter diameter appears. Let me check mark that. Good, so that means all six of those are the same. Uh, what else does it want us to do? It wants us to also type that the 25 millimeter is a through um, cut. We can do that the same thing here. So I'm going here in front of the text here. I'm going to type in using all caps that it's a through cut. And it tells us that that hole goes all the way through. All right. That looks good. And that wraps up. That wraps up our, um, our drawing here. We do have to do some tidying up of our um, title block here. So let me right mouse click, edit sheet format. I want to make sure that I change change this so that it this uh, will put in our name. It still doesn't fit in there, so I got to make sure I What I can do, we can, we can just move this title. Okay, uh, right mouse click, edit sheet. And I'm gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna pause the, um, the video, figure out how to change this, and then I'll tell you right in just a second.